Hey guys, welcome to another review. So this one is going to be about the Bravo View 600 watt DC to AC inverter. Um, the reason why I bought this product was uh, when I'm in my car, we go for long drives, uh, I run my laptops, you know, do video editing, things like that, so I need something that will run my laptop. So let's get started. <clears throat> First off, you'll see, this is something that I won't use, but I guess they included it, is uh, this kind of a mount here. We'll move this. This seems, I guess there's a gaming thing in this. Um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to mount this. But, you know, it does have an on and off. So I guess you can hook up a plug. You have uh, your three connections in the back here. You, you know, you can connect it into, I guess, your um, audio entertainment system uh, receiver in your car. You also have a USB plug there. You know, obviously it's an on and off button um, from this and it seems like to me that this is supposed to be mounted someplace but uh, one thing I didn't like is that this is exposed and anytime you mount this into like a car's wall like flat um, you shouldn't have any exposed uh, cir uh, circuitry and things like that so that's one thing that I didn't like about this all right guys so here is the bravo view 600 watt this is the actual inverter here one thing i like about this it is a small form factor you know so it's nothing huge um, as you can see on this side you have two plugs plus you have under here you have your uh, usb connection so it's awesome that they're given the usb so i can directly hook my phone into there um, you know this is uh looks like aluminum housings these are plastic on the sides here here you have a fuse. I like how the fuse is uh, easy, accessible in case you blow it out. And then you have your on and off button, and you got this fan. Now, and it says 600 watt DC to AC, but that's actually not the case. Um, and I hate when companies do this, but uh, if you look on here, the output peak is 600 watts but the output continuous is 300 so anytime you look at an inverter it's nice that they have the peak but always look at continuous power because because continuous power it means it'll deliver 300 watts of power constantly but time to time if there's extra draw or something happens it's able to pull more than that but maybe that's 600 maybe it's for a minute maybe it's for five minutes maybe it's for a second so this is actually a 300 watt um, and, uh, you know, there's also more specs on here, voltages, you know, it's able to go to, you know, it's just giving you, you the restrictions, but even at 300 watts, uh, continuous power, you know, I can run my MacBook Pro, which, uh, I can plug into here, and that is only, uh, that laptop, I believe, charger only pulls 81 watts, and then, you know, a phone charger pulls next to nothing, so... Um, this this works for me, but if you're trying to run tools or something off of this, um, probably is not for you. Um, and one thing that I did not like about this uh, is you guys have seen my other videos where I try to make a quiet, comfortable ride. Um, the fan in this, maybe I got a defect. Okay, I won't throw this out to company. Maybe I got a defect, but this fan is loud. And at certain angles, you can actually hear the bearing grinding and making noises. So that's why I think maybe I just got a defective one or something. Um, I had a couple other inverters in the past, and they're all their their fans were also. Um, they don't have very variable speed. Um, computer power supply, things like that, are uh, converting 110 to 12 volt or whatever. Those ones have variable fan speeds. So depending on how much load there is, it's able to spin the fans at different speeds. And which means that when you're when you don't have much load on there, it's able to kick the fan on really low, and it becomes really quiet. 